Now, the introduction of the Nari Shakti Vandhan bill was soon followed by an uproar in the parliament as we saw a furious war that erupted in the Lok Sabha after Congress's Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary claimed that women quota bill was the same as the one that was introduced by the Congress. Also added that the bill was initiated by the UPA itself and Sonia Gandhi herself had batted for it. Remember earlier in the day, former Congress chief Sonia Gandhi had said that apna hai, basically referring to the bill as theirs, upon being asked about the women's reservation bill. But Union, uh, Union Minister, Home Minister Amit Shah himself was quick to fact check Adi Ranjan saying that the Congress must not lie in the parliament because the bill was never passed during Rajiv Gandhi's tenure. Mahila Raksan, 1989, mein, jab Rajiv Ji Pradhan Mantri the tab, sthani aur nikao ke chunao mein, unhone ek tihai Araksan mahilao ke liye sunishchit kiya tha. Tat paschat, Congress ki sarkaro ne lagatar prayash kiya ki mahila Araksan ka bill pass ho, kanun bane, Lok Sabha ebon Vidhan Sabhao ke liye bhi ek tihai Araksan ke liye Dr. Monmon Singh ki sarkar ke what? Jo ye bill aya, o aaj tak jibit hai, aaj tak jibit hai. Manya Adhiranjan ji ne jo kaha, wo factually incorrect hai ki purana bill abhi bhi jibit hai. Meri spasht jankari hai ki purana bill lapse kar gaya hai. Adhiranjan ji ne jo kaha hai, uske samarthan mein, unke paas koi document hai, to table par rakhne chahiye. Ek या तो उन्होंने स्टेटमेंट विड्रो करना चाहिए दूसरा उन्होंने कहा कि इस बिल को लोकसभा ने भी कभी पारित किया था राजीव गांधी जी के समय में कभी नहीं हुआ है मान्य अध्यक्ष जी लोकसभा में जो बिल पारित होता है अगर राज्यसभा उसको पारित नहीं करती है और लोकसभा का कार्यकाल समाप्त होता है तो वो बिल अपने आप लैप्स हो जाता है मैं मानता हूं कि इस चीज को स्पष्टता करनी चाहिए और मान्य अध्यक्ष जी अगर उनके पास अलग जानकारी है तो सदन के टेबल पर रखनी चाहिए लीडर ऑफ द ऑपोजिशन बट टू मेक अ स्वीपिंग स्टेटमेंट दैट ऑल पार्टी चूज वीमेन हु आर नॉट अफेक्टेड इज एब्सोल्यूटली अनएक्सेप्टेबल आई स्पीक ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल आर वीमेन We have all been empowered by our party, by our Prime Minister. Rashtrapati Draupati Murmu ji is an empowered woman. Every, every MP of my party is an empowered woman. To make a sweeping statement, it might represent their party, although it had had women presidents for their party. In spite of that, they can't have women who are empowered. But I object to him Please. making a sweeping generalization of all parties. Leader of the opposition. Please. Please. Hey, pichli woh mahilaon ko, sarukaj mahilaon ko, aisa moka nahi milta, jaisa inko mil raha hai. Ye ham kar rahe hain. Isi liye. Oh, oh, to isi liye. Oh, 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 राष्ट्रपतिमन We are asking for reservation for all women. Rashtrapati is a tribal woman. Please. Unacceptable. Please, please, please take your seat. 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 Please take your seat. Take. Take your seat. One second. Take your seat. Women's reservation bill finally is coming. Women's 
All right. Uh, we see that credit war playing out and a lot of uh, uh, details that the Women Reservation Bill addresses, does not address. You have that board of words playing out in the parliament. Rahul Gautam joins us live for a little more clarity on that. Rahul, as much as this is a massive move, a welcome move into bringing equality uh, in the field of politics, you have a lot of questions being raised by the opposition parties about the delimitation exercise, more importantly, uh, which suggests that post-delimitation, uh, the reservation reservation will be given out uh, to women. So it's not going to be ready for 2024. Is this a way to fool uh, women in the name of a women's reservation bill? These are the questions that the opposition, including Congress, the Aam Admi Party, AIMIM asked for Muslim reservation, have all hurled at the government. Give us responses from the center. Yeah, absolutely. You rightly pointed out that uh, the opposition parties are saying that this is nothing but an election stunt, given the fact that uh, reservation would be implemented only after delimitation process uh, is undertaken, and that would be happening uh, in, in 2026, 2027, which basically uh, would be fraught with many objections, and particularly... Uh, uh, you know, from the Election Commission of India, uh, from uh, from various stakeholders as to how they're going to identify seats that are going to be reserved for women, uh, if, uh, you know, uh, seats are going to be increased in southern part or decreased, the same happening in northern part. So, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot that needs to be done when it comes to implement uh, the Women Reservation Bill in true spirit. And that's why they are saying that, uh, you know, uh, it's a mere eyewash. In fact, uh, Aam Aadmi Party has, uh, you know, went on to say that this is not Women Reservation Bill, Women Reservation Bill, it's actually uh, a Mahila Bevku Banao Bill. Basically, uh, you know, that BJP is trying to uh, uh, betray or trying to mislead the women community of the country. However, the central government has rejected all these allegations, saying that uh, you know, this bill has been brought with, uh, with honest spirit. And in fact, as Prime Minister himself said, that God has chosen him to empower women. And, uh, uh, you know, whatever uh, processes needs to be followed, will be followed and should be followed. And therefore, this shows the honest uh, spirit and objective of the government that uh, they have taken this bold step to bring in and table the Women Reservation Bill, and obviously uh, they have asked that all the members of uh, both the houses, uh, you know, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, should come forward and support this endeavor of NDA government. Given the fact that uh, Congress Party, we all know, they are claiming that it was their brainchild. It was, uh, it was UPA that actually introduced uh, Women Reservation Bill in Lok Sabha, in Rajya Sabha back in 2010, and now, uh, given the fact that BJP has that numerical strength in Lok Sabha, yeah. and obviously they're going to support in in Rajya Sabha. That's why it is time. Uh, for this bill to see the light. So clearly, opposition, you can say, uh, you know, they are now trying to uh, create this narrative that this is happening, but uh, you're not going to get any benefits out of this in 2024. It is basically a process which we fraught with many objections, so there are a lot need to be done. Then only this is, this is going to uh, be turning into reality.